Before I get into today's video, I have to say something really cool happened. Zach and I have been married for 5,000 days as of yesterday. I had a little countdown going on my phone and then I made a note in my calendar a really long time ago to know what day that would be. And I looked yesterday and it reminded me Oh my gosh, we've been married for 5,000 days, which just sounds so much longer than 13 years. <laughs> like, it's just crazy to think that I've been married to someone and with someone and every day spent together for 5,000 days, minus a week when he went to Wisconsin. And I won't let him live it down for that, but honestly, like, <laughs> it's crazy. And so we wanna do something fun like this weekend. Didn't really do anything yesterday spectacular for it. Um, but maybe we'll like go out and like have a nice meal and get dressed together and do something fun. Um, speaking of anniversaries, the reason why I stocked up on all of those Cezanne purchases is because it's their 10th anniversary. And so they did a 10th anniversary collection. They're going to be doing lots of really fun things this year. And I get to be a part of that. So this will be the first month of a full year of sponsorships with them. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to put together 10 outfits just because of that 10th anniversary because they've really been a foundational part of my style if I think back to it. Like, I started my style in 2017 and I shortly after that found about, out about Cezanne and I liked them because I was needing those essential basics but I wanted something that was a bit elevated. I loved the femininity of a lot of their pieces and I just loved their quality for the price point when I really was trying to stretch every dollar when it came to my wardrobe. And so they've been around now for 10 years. So I've been a part of their journey and they've been a part of mine for the majority of that time, um, which is just so cool. So yeah, I wanted to put together my top pieces out of everything that I bought and I will be returning a lot of the other ones just for the sake of my own consumption since I don't need too many more pieces in my current wardrobe but these were spectacular in my mind and will really serve a good purpose um, so yeah I just thought I would talk through those pieces today and sort of bring that along um, with you guys of the different pieces that I think are essential and neutral in their color and something that not necessarily are too statement, uh, except this one, um, <laughs> where I think that I'll really be able to get a lot of use out of them. So yeah, let's get started and just create some outfits. I thought I would start with a winter white look. I have always picked up a will jacket and so this one is in an ivory. I think that they are the perfect jacket to layer with this time of year because I can still throw a warmer coat on top of it and then this will just be a layering piece for those days when I want to stay warm and cozy inside as well as outside. So um, it's also going to transition really well between now and then springtime but I love wearing an all white look in winter as well. Um, so this look I think is wonderful because I'm wearing loose fitting wide leg um, pants with that. And so this is a cotton, this is a cotton. So I've got this beautiful like matching set here. And then the piece that you really get to notice is this amazing belt. So you can see that belt is the Gaia belt and what's great about it is that it doesn't have any holes. So it's very easy to you know, not have to worry about if it'll fit just right and I don't have that strapped in in any way so that's just laying there perfectly. And I like how these big giant pockets are really just not scrunching or anything. That belt lays nicely above that. And so this is just a really like form fitting look that I love so much. I'm wearing the Misha boots with them which is more of this like patent leather and so that works really well to wear white boots this time of year um, other than that I thought that the perfect layering piece with it is just a turtleneck this is a cropped turtleneck by the way but 
you know, I think it's perfect for just layering with because I feel like the fabric is not consuming me and it just makes the whole outfit lay really nicely. This outfit compared to the last one is a lot more casual in my mind. I think that just having a white jean is going to be one of those pieces that really allows you to play with a lot more chic outfits in winter time. I would not be afraid of wearing white in winter. That's like, there's a whole reason behind that and it doesn't apply to today very much at all. Um, but for this outfit, I feel like these are elevated basics that you can always have in your wardrobe like any time of the year. So for the top, it's the tomboy shirt from Cezanne and I like it because it's a linen and cotton blend and then just having that vertical stripe is very lengthening and so chic and because it's in a neutral, I can wear it with a lot of different things and as a layering piece. I wanted to show you up close. You can really get an idea of the beautiful color and just sort of the way that the fabric moves and I would say that it's so light. It's a very lightweight fabric um, that you can layer with. So that's why it's great even for this time of year. As for accessories, the belt is something that I feel like I wanted to get just right. And so I decided to just pop on the same one as before. I tried like a darker belt and different things for this look. And I feel like this was just so perfect for having this all very light and airy feel. And yet, just having something to really bring all the material in. So these jeans are a little bit big on me, and so to be able to cinch them is really lovely. Also, the shoes are um, much more of a contrast. They pick up a little bit of the black that is inside the belt, but they are a crocodile print, which goes so well with having that rugged edge on the jean. But let me show you. Again, this belt up close, you can kind of see how that's picking up here on this black. And it's just so great to be able to have that to style with. I had a lot of fun putting this next outfit together because I've been really enjoying wearing shorter dresses and even shorts this time of year on the more mild days. I can always throw on an extra jacket or whatever I need to, but I've been loving styling some really amazing boots with something shorter. So I've got a little bit of skin showing and then I just have some like sheer black tights on underneath. And so wearing something like this, which is a sweater dress is just like so cozy and comfortable and I don't feel cold in it at all. In fact, I feel really warm because I am layering with it and I just love the more academia or business style that I have from wearing a button down top underneath. And so that's cotton. So having merino wool on top of cotton feels so breathable and lovely and still very cozy. So yeah, merino wool too is like very high quality wool because you can, um, it's wonderful because it keeps you very like clean smelling. Um, it doesn't absorb any odors. And so it's just naturally something that is um, a lovely garment to always have in your wardrobe. So yeah, uh, this was such a good find. I also love, let me get in close. I love this neckline if you can make it out. I know it's black, but it's got these little tiny buttons along here, which just makes for a lovely accent there. And then having this collar popped underneath is just, just so cool. So much fun to be able to style. Then if you feel a little bit on the adventurous side with your style and you want something a bit more bold, a fedora like this would be just the ticket. It's got a lot of contrast compared to the outfit. And yet it doesn't seem to be anything too strong for a fedora. So let me look in the mirror here. So yeah, to me, I feel like somebody that I love their style is Kelly Wurstler. And this just has a little bit of her vibes going on in the outfit. Um, I just think that all together, this looks so cool and chic and sophisticated. And I normally would always style this with a belt, but I don't really feel like I need to do that for this look. It's just something about the way that it drapes. It's just wonderful and relaxed and cozy and comfortable. Everything that I'm looking for in a winter outfit. So this outfit is a lot like the uh, first outfit, which was all white. So this one is just in stark contrast to that. And I'm wearing a beret, which is so much fun. I actually like to wear my berets a little bit more like a beanie where it's just sort of shaped to my head. 
And I feel like that's just a very natural and effortless way that I like to wear them. Um, for the jacket, this again is the Will jacket. What's really cool about the Will jackets is that they leave room for you to sign your name as it's yours, but then they also leave a few more lines just to show that it really is like an heirloom piece. And then again, I'm just styling it with a cropped turtleneck. And then I've got um, just some rugged like black jeans with that and then some narrow like round toe boots with that and that has that academia feel that I love so much um, so altogether this is a very lengthening look I've got a nice proportion line here but really I think that it'll be fun to style it with a belt so I brought one over this belt is kind of a past one that I got from Cezanne years ago, and it's been really fun to be able to style with. It's like a more suede version, and so that allows me to work with some fabric textures with this all black outfit. What I'm thinking for this is, again, I want to style it right above the pocket line so I can still make use of my pockets. And this does have a few buttonholes on it, and so I'm just going to look for the tightest one that makes it stay in place. And then what I like to do is, I know you can't really see it because it's all like black, but I've got just one tiny elastic that I use to like tie my hair braids in. Um, so something very much more minimal there. And that just keeps it right there. Like nobody can really tell that that's there, but it keeps all of the silhouette of the outfit very nice. So yeah, that, that to me is such a statement piece to have that right there. And so then all together, I've got an all black look, but the silhouette is there and it just is a very chic look. I like to have the collar popped here just because it's going to give it a little bit more of an edge for the whole look. And yeah, I feel chic and comfortable. So it's like so perfect. This next ensemble is so great, but I'm definitely chasing the sun to finish all of these outfits that I've come up with um, before the sun sets. So I thought I would just prioritize the darker outfits right now. Um, so I've got that same turtleneck on before and the same shoes, but these two pieces, the Christy jacket and then the Florentino pants are wonderful together. I could definitely wear them separately if I didn't wanna do the full like, pantsuit outfit, um, but I love the look of this. It's very academia, which you know I love. One thing I have to say though, is that I will need to get these pants tailored if I decide to fully keep them. I love the look of them right now. I just wanna review it on my tape and just make sure, I feel like on video I can really tell um, which pieces that I want to definitely keep. So far these fit like a dream, especially in the back, like, I just love the whole look of it. It doesn't feel like it's too tight, which a lot of more trousers tend to be either too tight or weird fitting. And these just feel like they are a dream. And then I love the little button details on them, just so you can see up close. Can you see that? <laughs> I hope so. Um, but I just love the little details. The button design on that is so beautiful. And the little tiny pockets right here, are a dream and then they've got pockets but it is something that's just sewn in until I decide to open them. Oh yeah, and I wanna show you the buttons on the coat as well. Just so dreamy and one unique detail about this, I've had other blazers like this and I love it where I just have these two buttons on the bottom that fasten and so then I'm able to wear it cinched but honestly I think that I like the look of it open for this full like full head to toe outfit it just sort of breaks it up a bit and makes it feel a little bit more feminine or at least in taste with what I like then I thought that I would try another fedora here and if I come up close, you can really tell up close like what kind of colors are gonna work well together. I love the band here. I love the little gold details of this hat, so I always pull it out because I love that in combination with my jewelry. So, I mean, it's just fun. Like this is when I can start exploring my style and feel like it's me. And when I go out wearing something like this, I feel so, like I'm just living my best life. <laughs> so yeah, I think that that's a wonderful look. 
And another thing that I like about this outfit, which of course you can't really tell because I've got my boots covered up, so it's more like just that I know it's there, is that they've got the They've got these awesome like buttons on the shoe and these are like old school Cezanne, like they don't really make that anymore. But I love that so much because of all the other buttons that I've got in this outfit. It's just a dream. This outfit is so casual. It just makes me feel very at home. There's something about like really cozy, just like, I don't know, I just need that layer of comfort sometimes, especially some days where I don't wanna to get too fancy. The only thing it's super fancy about this outfit is that I've still got these like heeled boots on, but again, that's just for lengthening purposes. I've got these black jeans on from before, and then this Louise jumper is a dream. I just love it because it's an extra, extra small, which is a privilege that us petites have. I think that at first it was a, it took a long time for like the size zeros in the extra, extra smalls to show up. So that's just like an answer to prayer because I literally have videos from the past being like, Cezanne, please, please, just one more size down would be so great. And so especially for these more oversized pieces like this, this sits just very naturally on me. I feel like the drape is wonderful. The sleeves are great. So like the shoulder drop is wonderful. I think that the balloon sleeve is perfect. And even the cuffs here don't feel like they are too big or too long. And so I still like to just cinch them up because then it's showing a little bit of skin, allowing the fabric to drape really nicely. But the really interesting and cool part about this sweater is that it has a button line on it here. And so par for the course, they always keep the cuff very narrow so that you can cinch fabric and it's flattering. But to have that button line there is just an added detail, which is why I always love um, Cezanne's pieces. I literally collect their buttons too, like the little extra buttons that come with pieces. I have like jars full <laughs> of buttons and one day I'll do something really cool with that. Um, but it's fun to be able to collect things like that. I've got a French tuck. I don't know in France do they call it <laughs> a French tuck, but over here in America that's what we call it, where I didn't tuck in all the fabric all the way in the back, but I'm just keeping a little bit tucked in in the front so that it exposes the longer length of my legs. But this is a wonderful option to style a sweater if you want to not tuck in your top. Just a little bit of a French tuck in the front is going to do it and that works not only for sweaters but in tops in general. Okay, here's that statement top that I had mentioned before. This is such a dream. I think that I've got a few ideas of where I'm going to wear this to, but it's gonna be so great. Like, it is a dream. But the one thing that I'm trying to not do is move around too much because to put a microphone on this was so interesting. Like, it took a few tries and thoughts of like how to do it. Um, and I've just got it like right here very delicately on this bow. So it is something I can move around in quite well, but I'm stiff right now just trying to make sure that I don't like make the sound be too scratchy for you. <laughs> um, up close though, let me just show you this amazing bow. It's amazing. Like I just love how stiff that it is. The fabric is so structured that it's really allowing it to sit very nicely with the um, these pillowy parts of the bow just staying where I want them to be. So once you figure out like exactly how you want it to lay, it stays there. The other really cool thing about this top is the size of the buttons. Like they are huge. It's just a dream. They also have buttons along the neckline as well, which you might not be able to see right now, but it's just one more detail that's just so lovely. So this is a very metallic shirt. It goes really well with my gold and black jewelry, by the way. So that is a dream as well. I thought that the best thing that I could style them with from my wardrobe is some silk pants and they are a wide leg that's cropped. So it's allowing me to play with my boots again. Um, but this is going to cinch the fabric very nicely there. And ultimately I just love the out there nature of this outfit. And yet it feels still very chic and feminine and fun, which are all the things that I want to dress like.
So this is another version of the tomboy shirt that I picked up. This is much similar because it's a stripe, but it's a thinner stripe. It's got a bit of a more navy or um, very like heathered blue texture to it. That seems very like retro. Let me show you up close. Something about that just reminds me of like Coney Island to me. I feel like the texture of that is just very vintage and lived in and beautiful. And so the beauty of the tomboy shirt is that it feels like you are wearing your man's shirt, only it feels like it's perfectly custom to you. And so this is a size zero, so it's very like form fitting on me. I like to just show a little bit of the collar and the sleeves tucked up again, just to give it that more effortless lived in feel. And so I'm styling it today with some navy wide leg um, jeans that just fit like a dream and still have that more retro nature to them. It also has an ivory button. So I feel like that just matches the top very well. And then I've got some of those ivory or white boots on from before that are that beautiful like shiny fabric, but it gives it that again, a retro feel, but in a different way. Like this feels very forties to me. And then the shoes feel like more 70s and so it just feels like myself through different eras that I adore. This would not be a Cezanne video if I did not add a white beautiful feminine top to this. Hi Fitzwilliam. Um, I am styling it with the same jeans and boots as before because the sun is literally setting right now uh, but I just loved all of the unique details of this. I just want to show you up close like can you imagine designing that? Look, it's so intricate. I just love it so much. The beautiful thing about tops like this is that I can wear it so easily as a layering piece, but on its own, it's a dream. I like to wear it with nippies just because then I'm allowed to like just have something that feels very effortless to me. But if you want to style it with like a white bra, like a triangle bra would be so great, or a cami, just whatever you feel natural in. But I love the look of this. It's so feminine, and yet I'm dressing it down. If you wanted to put it with a skirt or something much more feminine, you definitely could do that. Okay, we made it to the end. This is the last outfit, the last look that I put together. Um, honestly, this is such a dream because it's got all of the Western vibes that I love so much, but yet it is cozy and warm and comfortable and casual and just feels amazing. So this is kid mohair. It's so soft. This is the Amants cardigan. Get you a little up close. And you can see all of the beautiful work in there. It almost feels like alpaca a little bit because it's just bouncy and lightweight. Um, the other thing that I love is the sleeves because I feel like with this size, it works perfectly down. But then the minute that I cinch them up with that balloon sleeve, it just works like a dream. So it's a little bit different than the sweater I was wearing before. It's a little bit darker. Obviously it's a cardigan, so I can wear it open. I can layer with it. It's a little bit more versatile than that one, but I feel like that's perfect for like just a rainy day or something really cozy. And then this one feels more like something where it's a little bit dressed up. I feel like the sleeves too, just them being puffed up a bit is a nice look. And so I'm styling it with these suede, um, more Western like cowboy look of a boot. And I love that they're lighter. I love these beautiful um, cam pants that I've got. And I feel like with that, it just makes it feel very like elevated with that lighter um, pant again. And then for the belt, I've got one very similar to the one I was wearing before. So this is the Gaia belt, but in a different shade. Now I'm keeping both of these belts. I'm so certain because anytime that I can collect a really good belt that is versatile and matches a lot of things, and it, I, it just makes an outfit come together. So that's what I'm doing there. And I liked the idea of just using a tonal look. I think a lot of people get hung up about trying to match a belt to an outfit perfectly or the boots or anything like that. And you should be able to play a little bit. It should feel very effortless, like you just threw it on and it all came together. So that's how I really feel this outfit is styled. Okay, I'm gonna end it here because I think that I've fresh out of light, like that is it. So I'm gonna get some dinner and wrap up today, but I will see you tomorrow. I was just reading through this little booklet that they gave me with my order and it's so cool to read about everything that was Cezanne and all of their plans for the future and even like the scent. 
that they did with the paper is that signature Cezanne scent. I have the perfume, by the way, and anytime that I do closet sales, I always like spritz all the pieces quite a bit <laughs> with that. Um, and they also gave me this little um, packet, and I haven't opened it yet, but I know it's their new beauty line. So it's a lipstick. That's super exciting. Let me get my French right. So that's La Beauté Cezanne. I'm actually practicing French because I want to, like I said in my last video, I want to actually go to Paris potentially this year. And um, so yeah, I'm just like really working on it. I've been practicing for about 12 days, so <laughs> um, nowhere near ready to go just yet, but it's been so fun. Okay, so the color inside is maybe just a little bit different, a little bit more um, rouge red. And they have a little logo right there with an S that's very ornate. Yeah, that is so lovely. I'll try it on a bit later and see kind of what I think. Just because like, to me with lipstick, I like to play with it and sometimes I just like to dab my finger a little bit so I can make it look a little bit more like a stain. And then some days I'm like all drama and I actually want like a full red lip. So I'll try that a bit later. Um, I also wanted to ask my question of the day, which is what is your favorite scent? Like what does that smell like and how does it represent you and your taste? For me, I like anything that's like, a bit bolder. I like things that have like a peppery scent to them or a musk or something that has a bit of depth to it, if you know what I mean. And so on my stories, maybe about a month or two ago, I tried opening this package and it was lovely. So this is the YSL Libre bottle and it has been quite a treasure. I just love the look of the bottle itself and the scent really, like it was something I didn't try in stores first. I just like grabbed it. And so, yeah, I'll link that in the shopping tab um, where you can click on that and you can actually get directly to the product. But um, yeah, I just thought that I would try it and cause I always like their scents that I've tried in the past. And so this one did not disappoint and it has like an orange blossom scent to it and some other florals. And I love that because I found my grandmother's wedding announcement in the papers. So she got married in Manhattan in this little church that still exists today. And that would have been like maybe in the late 30s that she got married. Anyways, I know that for a fact she wore orange blossoms in her um, like headdress for her wedding. And so I just love that because now when I smell that, then I kind of think of her and um, my grandmother's mean like a whole lot to me. So that just sort of is how I bring her through my day. So yeah, let me know in the comments what scent really represents you. And that's also why I liked that Cezanne scent too, because it just had a floral essence to it, but it also smelled like something that was just like very womanly and grown up. And I think that that's what I really like in a scent. So yeah, um, I'm gonna leave the video there and just sort of like have my little cozy rainy day today. That's why I'm taping like by a window. Like this is my brightest point in my house because it is so dark out. Like the street lights were on most of the day. For me, I really like to have some rainy days. There's something about it where it's just like a little bit more chill and I feel like I have a different pace. I can do different things like read a book or take a nap and not feel awful or guilty about it. And I can just like collect my thoughts and maybe even the rain itself sort of feels more emotional to me. So maybe that's why I kind of like it once in a while. But I know like some people like Zach, he's just like, oh, this weather is awful. And I just wish that I could just have a nice sunny day or be somewhere warm. I actually was looking up vacations <laughs> that was like in the south of Florida um, this morning and then I decided not to do that. So I'm just sort of like daydreaming about where I could visit. But regardless, I'm loving this rainy January day. Um, it's very like just moody, much like the scent that I like. So maybe that's why I like that. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, if you could like this video, that would mean so much and give me an indication of if it resonated with you and let me know in the comments too, like what you liked about it. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.